So hi and welcome to this video. So today what I'm going to be showing you is about a project I've been working on for the last few weeks called ES.VC. And you've probably already guessed that yeah, what, uh, what ES.VC is. And what it is, is it's free domain name service um, for anybody, but I made it particularly for any high code subscribers. So what it does is it allows you to get a free ES.VC domain. Uh, it, you can register it forever, uh, it's free. It's uh, fast because the server I use is actually fast. It runs off DigitalOcean servers, so uh, this should give you an idea of how fast they are, which is actually pretty fast. And um, you can do all sorts of things with it. You can do whatever you can with normally with a .com domain. Uh, you can use your own name servers. You can point any SWC domain name to uh, well, your name servers, or you can keep them at my, um, the ASWC uh, name server. Uh, you can also um refer them to your own website so you can point them to your own website that's uh, actually really easy to do so i'm going to give you a demonstration of how easy it is to do it and how everything works so i'm going to log out and if i log in as you'll see here this is the exact same form as uh, is on uh, howgo.org so uh, all your login and information is the exact same so if you have an account on howgo.org you can log in with it here uh, i'm just going to show you these pages just whatever uh, that's just the pages that I made uh, and as you'll see if I go to my account I have uh, four domains the first two are actually critical to actually making it work um, www.es.vc is actually just used so that I can uh, direct users from www.es.vc to the actual website so someone else can take it because that would cause confusion and then registry.es.vc is used to host files that um, do things like domain expiring things like that so they do basic administration work for uh, as a, on the back end of the uh, servers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a demonstration of how it works. Um, so I'm just going to register a domain name. So I'm going to type in u.es.vc, uh, just the same as this one up here. It says it's available. If I click to register it, it tells me the domain I want to register, the date, I, the, date the, the registration uh, took place, and the expiry date, which is one year from today. It also gives me the registrant, which is my username. You can also do things like donate and, um, well as you can see if I click donate, it'll uh, take me to PayPal and it'll allow me to donate and things. And one of the advantages of donating is that not only does it uh, mean we'll be able to buy better servers to make the experience better, uh, well also, it also means you get, uh, I just, well okay, you see here I have 100 domains I can use, um, but a regular user only gets 10. But if you donate, you get 50 added on to that. So every time you donate, you get an extra 50 domains. So the first time you donate, you'll have 60. Then the next time you donate, you'll have 110. Uh, and the next time you'll have 170 and whatever. I mean, 160. Uh, so that's how it works. And you can donate as little or as much as you want. Even if you donate one penny, you're still going to get the extra 50 domains. Uh, any donation, whether it's big or small, is appreciated as well. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to register that domain. Right now I don't want to donate because I can't really donate to myself, so I'm just going to click no and it gets rid of that. If I click confirm registration, uh, it says that um, I have five domains out of 100 used because previously I only had four, and that's because my new domain has showed up here. So as you can see, you have three options. You can edit domain, delete your domain, or renew your domain. So if I click renew, uh, you'll just notice that that went up to 2015, so it added an extra year onto my uh, domain. So this just means that, uh, well obviously if I keep clicking it, it won't actually go up. It only goes up as far as 2015 for now and then um, because uh, obviously I don't want people to be able to register domains too far in advance. If I click edit domain, uh, I'm going to show you some of the options you have. So here we have three options. We have point to your current domain, point to your name servers and use ESV, ES, WC, DNS. So I'm going to show you the first one first, obviously. So if I go to point to your website, uh, I actually have to click uh, this circle or else it won't actually enable it. So if I go to point to your website and I set it to my website, and I go to howgo.org and I click submit, it says domain updated, uh, and I just refresh this, and click here. As you can see, it says uh, the domain goes to howgo.org. So now if I type in u.es.vc, it shows me up 
uh, like at howco.org. But as you see, uh, it takes it does if I click on about us or whatever, uh, the address doesn't change because it's just an iframe. To have uh, your domain do things the way my actual domain does, uh, you want to use things like name servers or ESWC DNS. So uh, I'm going to show you name servers first. So if I go to point to your name servers, here you have a table or whatever, and it says domain name, type, points to, whatever. So the only thing you need to worry about is putting in the name server. So I'm just going to put in ns.eswc, which is the name server for this. But obviously, uh, the ESV, ESWC domain name server won't actually uh, do anything for you currently. So as you can see, I have one name server, and this means that if I go to, um, if I put point my domain at a name server, I can uh, use that. I can use that name server to host my domain zone file, which is uh, sort of the file that holds all the information about that domain. So I can't really show you too much about this, uh, but I will. Um, But uh, if you you know if put in a name server some company or whatever so if you sign up to DigitalOcean and you then the name server will be ns one dot digitalocean dot com uh, and then click submit it adds it and then ns two and then ns three obviously so uh, if you were doing this you would obviously want to get rid of the, uh, the first one so if you wanted to sign up to DigitalOcean this is all you do you would get rid of you would get rid of the first one and just use the bottom three so I'm just going to delete those for now. So now finally we're going to go on to use ESV, ESWC DNS. And this is the one that sort of took the longest to set up because it's uh, the most complicated. So this means that you host your DNS with, um, with uh, ESWC. And what this does is it says host and then it says u.es.vc. So if I leave this blank, then I fill all this in. What it'll do is it will change the address that u.es.vc points at. So, um, so I'm going to do a demonstration here. I'm just going to put in, uh, I'm going to do this command called nslookup and I'm going to put in the name of my domain. So as you'll see, this is the address that it's pointing to. And if I put in, if I leave this blank and I set the TTL or the time to live to 1400, I mean 14,400, and I put in different IP address, which is say this one. This is the IP for the hot code CDN uh, and I click add record. As you'll see, this uh, adds the record, but the DNS only refreshes once every 15 minutes. So um, your changes can take up to 15 minutes to take effect, but don't worry, they'll always take effect. And also, uh, the reason it takes 15 minutes is just because I'm not sure currently how many people I'm gonna be um, use, how many people are gonna be you know using my uh, project. So I want to make sure that it uh, works well for everybody, and then if um, it works really, if it works well under uh, the um, you know the amount of users that it uses. I'll be able to decrease that to maybe once every ten minutes the DNS will refresh, and then maybe once every five. I've had it for the past two days running, and once every five minutes refresh or a do a DNS re sorry a DNS refresh, but uh, that worked really well. But that was because it was only me using the website and uh, the server. So uh, we'll just have to see uh, how things go. So uh, I'm going to go to this, and I'm just going to type in date. What it does is it gives me the time. So since it does it every 15 minutes, what it means is it just refreshed the DNS one minute ago. So hopefully uh, we did this uh, early enough. We added that new value. Uh, we added this new A record into our uh, DNS quick enough. So let's try it. So let's do the NS luck again. And what it does is it actually didn't change because we were too slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re manually refresh the DNS. Um, just to for the sake of the video, and I'm going to run NS lookup again, and as you'll see, it says the address has changed to the record we pointed it at. So if we go to uh, u.es.vc, um, yeah, what's happened is what actually happened was this is the page that it uses to display the iframes for the uh, refer. Uh, and as the browser's cache just hasn't refreshed, which is the reason I used NS lookup because this chooses the changes immediately, which shows that it's now pointing to this IP address. So that means now in a, a minute, if I paste this in, this is what uh, we should see uh, when we go to us.es or u.es.vc. But we won't see it currently until uh, the browser cache expires. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can add a subdomain to your uh, domain. So I'm going to create a subdomain called, let's say, CDN, 
um, and we want to leave the dot off, uh, and then we want to set the TTL to 14,400, and we're going to give it the same IP address as this one. We're going to click Add Record. Uh, so what this does is, is does is uh, actually that needs to um, oh there it is. It says uh, cdn.u.esdvc, and what it did is it actually pointed it to the exact same server. But uh, obviously the DNS needs to refresh again in another 15 minutes. So I'm going to do a manual refresh once more. What it does is it refresh the DNS. And now if I type in cdn.u.es.vc, uh, takes me to the high code CDN. And as you can see, that was pretty instant. But that's because I manually refreshed the DNS. I'm also going to do one more, so I'm going to say Google, and I'm going to say 14,400, and I'm going to point it to this, which is an IP address for Google. So if I click Add Record, and I put in this address into uh, bar, it takes me to, oops, I need to refresh the DNS again, so let's just refresh it. Obviously, uh, whenever you make a change, you can make as many changes as you want within the 15 minutes or whatever. It just means that every time... Uh, you make a change and have to wait until um, the DNS refreshes again, which is every 15 minutes. So it, uh, say, for example, we refresh at midnight, then 15 minutes past midnight, then half an hour past midnight. So that's how you could sort of work out how long it's going to take. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and uh, the reason, as you see, if I keep refreshing, the reason it's not working is because now the browser's cached, um, save this sort of that it can't connect to it. So if I, the only way I can check this that it's worked is I go uh, do another NS lookup and I just put in google.u.esdvc and as you see, it points at that IP address. But what, what you'll also notice is there's loads of types you can use. So you can use um, any DNS type for a record. So NS records you can also put in here if you wanted, but uh, that's, there's no point because there's an a separate point in name servers um, option up here. So um, that's basically it. So don't worry a lot now. You don't have to do any of this DNS refreshing. I just did that so that the changes will be instant because I didn't want to have to wait 15 minutes between every uh, update I made. You can also delete all the records. And then if I click this, it just deletes um, all the records. Well, it should do. Okay, as you see, it deleted it there. I don't know why it uh, took two attempts, but it deleted it there. It deleted the records, and as you see, it still points to ESWC DNS. Um, so what this means is your domain won't. Act, it does. This doesn't mean your domain is broken if you delete them, and uh, your domain uh, won't actually work. Uh, I'll show you an example. So let's just create another one called. Uh, let's say HC just because it's short for high code, and let's just register this one really quick. So there's our new domain, let's click edit domain and click here. And as you'll see, it automatically fills in uh, this uh, record. So whenever you delete all the records, what it actually does is it deletes all the records and replaces it with this record. So that way your domain will actually resolve still. So it resolves to the high code servers as opposed to your own server. So even if I delete this, um, let's click just to show you. For some reason it takes not two attempts, but okay, I'll fix that later on. Um, but um, let's just refresh the DNS. And um, don't forget, I apologize if there's any bugs. It's just uh, this was a lot. There was so much back end work that I wasn't able to spend a whole lot of time on the front end. So there might be a couple of bugs. So just let me know if there is any by sending me an email at francis at highcode.org and I'll do my best to fix all the bugs that any of you guys find. So I'm going to do another NS logup now for hc.es.vc. And as you'll see, even though I deleted all the records, it still points to uh, 192.81.210.96. So that's it for this uh, video. It wasn't really a tutorial, but it was just me telling you guys about this new project that I created that you guys can use. It's not only for high code subscribers, everybody can use it. And also uh, anybody who wants to donate can, and you'll be rewarded for your donation with uh, 50 extra slots for domains. So. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.